Hello, David. Well, yes, this is a vacuum of power in Afghanistan currently. Yeah, whether the Taliban say that they've been uh, tirelessly working on the formation of the new inclusive government, and also there are consultation going on, and it's now 22 days after the collapse of Kabul, and uh, everything is shattered, and it, everything faced a lot of troubling issues in the country. Uh, now, uh, whether the social life it is getting much normal, for example, the banks were shattered, the biggest uh, stock market was shattered, and also the bazaars and markets were shattered. It was uh, a rapid pace that everything got open. Now, the banks are mostly open, uh, and the, their central offices, particularly now only in Kabul, the exchange ma market just opened yesterday, Saturday, uh, I mean, and also uh, the malls and uh, cafes and restaurants and everything is getting to its normal, but there is a shortage of cash, uh, yet it's not solved because the banks have met a limitation and its restrictions of, uh, on withdrawal of the cash from the banks. They can only withdraw $200 per week. That's why many people are facing now uh, difficulties and receiving the cash. And the cash flow is now restricted at international level by the International Bank in U.S. and other organizations like IMF. And that's the biggest issue and also related to the formation of the new government, which Taliban say, well, they, they will form in just in a week or less. Now, yep. another front here in the Panjir here. What, what's the status of the resistance efforts there? We've heard conflicting reports from both sides of this fight in the last few days. What do we know? Well, bloody uh, clashes in offensive continues in Panjir Valley. It's now sixth day that there is uh, clashes uh, between uh, the uh, resistance force and the Taliban fighters inside the Panjir Valley and several parts of that province. Uh, Taliban claim that they have taken five districts in the uh, central city of Bazarak, the uh, provincial capital of Panjir, is conflicting and there is uh, heavy clashes uh, going on between both sides. While resistance force uh, spokesperson Fahim Dashti also claimed that uh, uh, they have uh, trapped the Taliban and he is talking about thousand fatalities and casualties to the Taliban and many others also prison according to Dashti. While uh, the, the uh, first vice president, uh, the former one, Amrullah Saleh has uh, issued a press statement uh, urging United States, uh, the Red Crescent Society, and also other international NGOs and organizations to step up and uh, avoid any further looms on the humanitarian crisis happening in Panjshir Valley. Well, the Panjshir Valley is a very critical uh, part of the country, and it was not an easy t take since last uh, 40 years. Uh, from Soviet Union, then the Mujahideen era, and then the Taliban regime from 1994 uh, to 2001. And again now, it's not an easy t take, but the Taliban claim they are going slowly because there are civilians, thousands of families living in the crossfire between Tomorrow resistance Lyle. and Taliban. Sorry While to the cut in on you. We're approaching the end of our Taliban broadcast for here. civilian casualties in other.